Yeah, a couple cool things in the mail this week. I just got back from uh, Mexico. <laughs> cool things arrived on my steps. Uh, first, we got from Alex Grieve. Big shout out to Ivy Crazy from Video Aerial Systems for sending me some of his uh, new uh, his new Ion antennas. These things are cool. This looks like it's going to be a great antenna, um, just like all the stuff Alex makes. Uh, the case is very nice. It's put together real well. It's super light. Um, it gives you these little tightener things, which are, you know, they're super handy. Uh, these are SMA, and they got a short, these are pretty short, um, it's like, uh, they're not all the same length, this one's super short, these ones are relatively short, uh, it's about the size of, um, about the size of a Triumph, I think, uh, really nice, and you know, one reason to get these over a lot of the other antennas is he makes these in-house, these are made in America by his people at his shop, so all that goes, um, support him directly. I think that's pretty cool. Alright Alex, thanks so much for sending me these. They're gonna go to good use. Can't wait to try them out. Uh, next over here, um, got this box from Ready Made today. It's got no it's got no seam on it. Like, you know, I'd expect this box to have some kind of front way of opening it from the side just so you know but it, it doesn't so this is pretty hard to deal with it with one hand. Alright so what we got in here. We got the Strix Goblin and um, this is an awesome plan. As a lot of you guys know I'm one of the uh, beta testers. And I uh, just got the production model in here and this plane is a fantastic, fantastic plane. Put things in a box so they don't come out. Alright, we're just going to jump up down here. Oh, oh, a goblin is born. How oh, sweet. Look at this, huh? Man, nothing's easy. Eh? Is it me? Let's find out. Yeah, what do you think? How are these shades? myself in your eyes, baby. Mm. Alright, let's go back over here. Hey. We got the uh, the goblin here. Pretty excited um, to see the uh, man, I can't see it's too dark with those shades on. But the box looks awesome. Oh, it's got a little handle. And you know, this thing breaks down. Uh, the goblin breaks down real good, so you could, you could legitimately use this box after you build it. Let's see here. Here's the wings. Stickers. Instruction manual. Jeez, dude. Look at this. This thing's a this is a serious instruction manual. Like, I think half the weight of the box is in this instruction manual. Make sure you guys read it. Decals. Let's put the yellow backing on this, like something you found from the 70s. The stickers are cool though, I don't have those in the production model. I mean on the uh, prototype. So yeah, I think, think the wings are in here. Spar. Wings. Cool. This thing's a, a beast, I mean listen. Dang. I'm one handed here, I know. Can't figure out how to open it. It's got to be a way. It's got to be a way to open this thing. Ah, I got it. Ooh, look at that. Well, that's cool. Prototype was not orange. It was black. I mean, I knew it was going to be orange, but dude, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks awesome. Fantastic. Oh man, you got the motor pre-installed. So. One of the big problems I had with this thing when I got the uh, the prototype is the motor wires were like down here. So you had to stick your hand down to the fuse 
to try to hook up the ESC wires because it didn't come together like this. Oh my god, that was a huge pain in the ass. But it looks like uh, looks like that solves that problem. You know, this thing will build real quick. Basically, you just gotta slap the wings on. Um, you got your main canopy, a little pop out here. But it looks like you can put a little servo in there for a pan or something. Um, I drilled out the front with a reamer and put my flight cam in there. You can mount your ESC wherever, but it's hooked up. Yeah, they've extended the wires in there. Nice. So if your ESC comes like forward in a crash and your wires get loose, it's not a huge pain to put it all back together. The uh, Strix version of the Cobra, that's a really nice ESC, it's 60 amp. This tray is great. Um, you can work this tray out. There's a slot underneath it. If you start at the back and you just slowly pry, slowly pry up like that, this tray will come out. And then just re-glue it down with some foam tack or something. But um, yeah, this looks awesome. Cool, we got some hardware or something in there. And actually package of hardware. It was a six by four APC prop. Good prop, really good for this plane. And also there is uh, grip tape, which you really need because this fuselage is slick. So when you grab it, grab it to throw it, it can slip pretty easy. So you put the grip tape like right here on each side. Works out good. Uh, this, this thing comes out, this is the center tray section. wings connect um, all right well I'll do a build video on this later when I saw the when I got the prototype I was really worried about this right here uh, this being kind of janky and coming off but actually it's pretty darn solid so uh, it's not much to worry about I've also I smashed the nose in on mine really good and it was all creased like right about the center of the screen here was all creased like right up through here and it was bent like the nose was like pushed up like that and I hit it with a hot air gun and then I just kind of pushed it all back together and it looks totally mint like it, you can't even tell there's a hole in the side where a hard pack came through the front of the you know plastic was all gnarly there I just hit it with the hot air gun and I pushed it back into place and you can barely tell there's anything wrong with it so that's pretty cool um, you know throw some LEDs in there glowing orange football in here if you're into that kind of thing but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll come back with a uh, with a build video and a flight video at some point. Thanks. Later.